All right, so today I want to show you how to make your snake room great again. There are enormous possibilities. I'm actually going to give you a tour through my snake room, and I want to go through and show you my visions. We can turn those visions into reality and make our snake room great again. All right, so here is my snake room. All these tubs over on the left, these are all full of snakes over here. And then over on the right, all these over here, these are all full of my rats and my mice, all my rodents. And the first thing I'm gonna do, my first vision, is I wanna build a wall between the rats and the snakes. I definitely wanna separate them. And the problem is if one of my rats gets out, it can be extremely destructive going through and chewing everything up. And then on the flip side, if one of my snakes actually got out the snakes would climb over to the rats and actually pop open the rat tubs and then all the rats would get out so I definitely want a wall and when I'm talking about a wall I'm not talking about a small wall I want a big reinforced wall a wall that nothing can climb over nothing can dig under and probably the first thing you're thinking who is gonna pay for the wall <laughs> and at first glance you know I started thinking maybe I'll get the rats to pay for the wall and then I realized the rats aren't really that economical they really probably can't pay for the wall so it'll probably be a combination of the snakes and the rats actually paying for the wall so another issue I want to address in this reptile room is unemployment. I want unemployment to go to zero. And the problem is, is I have some, for example, if you open up one of these tubs here, this is a tub full of rats. And you can see these guys are extremely productive. Have some little babies here, have some smaller babies there. These guys are actively employed. And if you look through my rat racks and my snakes, I have a lot of rats that are almost like pets that are not being productive and it's kind of the same thing with my snakes I have a lot of snakes that aren't breeding and that aren't producing that's just a drain on the system so essentially to make your snake room great again you want to go through and have zero unemployment through your entire collection Another thing we want to address is draining the swamp. We have all this water up on top, and a lot of times if you don't keep on track of it, well, essentially what will happen is the nozzles will leak and flood the tubs. you got to stay up on top of replacing these nozzles so you don't end up with a swamp. The other thing we have over here is we have a humidifier. Sometimes the humidifier can leak. I also keep gallon jugs of water down here that tend to leak. You definitely want to stay on top of all your water sources so we can drain the swamp and we don't have any flooding. So one last thing we should address, and that is you want to stop the crumbling infrastructure. And essentially what it is, usually when you start out with ball pythons, you're buying really cheap racks. And if you upgrade to a big rack like this, this is actually the best rack you can get. This weighs hundreds of pounds. There's definitely a solid infrastructure here in my snake room. If you're just starting out in ball pythons, you're looking for something to increase the structural integrity of your reptile room you definitely want to stop the crumbling infrastructure all right so it is time for the question of the day and john o'connor asks how can the snakes be so close to the rodents without always going into feeding mode? And that is a very good question. As a matter of fact, I think it's actually a benefit to have my rodents in here with my ball pythons because a lot of times the ball pythons are pretty picky eaters. And I think being this close to the rodents, a lot of times they are in feeding mode a lot more than they normally would be. It's kind of one of the advantages of keeping the snakes next to the rodents. But I would say overall, it'd probably be best to actually separate the two and have a wobble between them or actually have them in separate rooms so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna leave you with a little bit of drone footage i got my drone out in fluid pretty awesome footage here in the mountains of colorado thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video